When the first-generation Ducati Scrambler Icon 800 cubic centimeters launched in India back in 2015, it left a lasting impression on everyone who rode it, myself included. Minimalist in design, yet unmistakably a Ducati in looks and performance, the bike wowed riders with its power-to-weight ratio, agile handling, and dynamic feel. Now, nearly eight years later, Ducati has released the second-generation model, and it's time to see what this new version offers. At first glance, the second-gen Scrambler Icon may seem similar to its predecessor, but a closer look reveals numerous upgrades. Ducati claims that 70% of the bike is new, so let's dive into the details. 2023 Ducati Scrambler Icon Design Starting with the front, the bike features a fresh LED headlight with DRLs and a striking X design at the center. The tail light and indicators are also now LED. Ducati has added new Kaiba suspension, with an upside-down, non-adjustable fork up front and a preload adjustable, slightly offset monoshock at the rear, both offering a solid 150 millimeters of wheel travel. The rugged style is enhanced by Pirelli MT60 RS tires on Y-Design 18-inch and 17-inch cast wheels. The 4.3-inch color TFT display replaces the previous LCD unit, adding a modern touch to the cockpit. The bike now includes a ride-by-wire throttle, allowing for two customizable ride modes, two power modes, and four levels of traction control that can be turned off entirely. While the rear ABS can't be deactivated, cornering ABS is included for safer handling on paved roads. The Icon is equipped with a slipper clutch for a light feel on the left lever. For additional features, riders can opt for a multimedia system and a quick shifter as accessories. Moving on, the bike has updated switch gear, a new flat bench seat, and refreshed quarter panels underneath. I'm particularly impressed by the rerouted exhaust, which now wraps around the engine with a compact end can. This not only adds to the bike's sleek look, but, thanks to the new heat shields, has a functional edge as well. The number plate has also been moved to the tire hugger, giving it a cleaner appearance with no visible wiring. All in all, this second-generation model is much tidier than its predecessor, and it has a neat surprise feature too. One of the coolest aspects of this motorcycle is its modular yellow plastic panels. On the front mudguard, around the headlight, on the tank, and at the tail section, which can all be swapped with different colored panels available from Ducati. It lets riders mix and match for a personalized look, pretty quirky and fun, right? While this scrambler is one of Ducati's simpler models, the high-quality fit and finish make it feel like a true modern Ducati. And beyond its striking design, Ducati motorcycles are celebrated for their performance, and this one delivers that in spades. 2023 Ducati Scrambler Icon Engine and Performance The heart of this bike is its 803 cubic centimeters L-twin engine, producing 75 PS of peak power at just over 8,000 RPM and 65 newton meters of max torque at 7,000 RPM. Though it's air-cooled, which can be challenging in heavy traffic, once you hit the open road, the engine really shines. With a throttle response that picks up around 3,000 RPM and continues pulling hard up to 7,000 RPM, the bike feels lively and powerful across a wide range. Now it gets a ride-by-wire throttle with lovely fueling. And then there's that lovely power to weight ratio. And this bike weighs about 185 kilograms with all the liquids in, which is around the weight of RE Himalayan 411. So considering that and the amount of power on tap, this thing is just ballistic out on the road. This motor gives you a good taste of Ducati S performance. Revving hard through the gearbox is an absolute delight and the motor can be quite tractable at low speeds as well. There's a good amount of vibes to be felt through the bars and the pegs, but it bodes well with this bike's character and never feels intrusive over a long distance ride. 2023 Ducati Scrambler Icon Ride and Handling Swinging a leg over the bike isn't a problem at all with its 795mm seat height. There are higher and lower seat options as well, for an additional fee of course. And when it comes to the aspects of ride and handling, this second-gen icon being 4 kilograms lighter than before thanks to the lighter steel trellis frame kith bolt-on subframe. Engine and new swing arm feels really light and extremely easy to manage as soon as you set off. 
It feels quite narrow and compact once you are aboard, unlike most other 800 cubic centimeters motorcycles out there, and the seating arrangement for two up feels very adequate. The suspension is slightly on the stiffer side of things, which isn't a bad thing at all considering this bike's ferocious performance. Twist the throttle lightly, and it isn't as snatchy as it was before, and if you want to ease off and enjoy a more relaxed ride, this bike let you go about it very nicely. The fueling is so spot with a ride-by-wire system on there, and you can maintain a certain speed a lot easier than before. Once you hit an open stretch and let her rip, you'll hit silly speeds in no time, but what's better are the four-pot calipers biting down on the 330mm single front rotor. Phenomenal stopping power and great balance. Lean into corners, the tires grip the road surprisingly well considering their pattern, but the front end does feel extremely light. And if you hit a bump mid-corner, things get a bit unsettling. Encounter some rough terrain, no problem once you brace yourself, because the current suspension setup isn't going to give you the magic carpet treatment. It does give you a real good feel of the terrain you're on, quite frankly, that's the way this bike was designed to be. And if that's your scene and fancy, know that it does this well. Thanks to the wide handlebar, you have a good command of things when the road gets rough. If Venus standing up on trails isn't a problem with the Icon, and if you want to have some fun off-road, this bike makes it so easy with all that power and minimal weight. Though the Scrambler Icon was always seen as an entry-level motorcycle, to the Ducati brand so to speak, but still this new bike is a motorcycle that will welcome you to the true Ducati ownership experience in laudable style, and this time around, it's got some delightful second-gen sprinkles by way of features. 2023 Ducati Scrambler Icon, verdict. For 10.40 rupees lakh. X showroom, India. The Ducati Scrambler Icon is the most affordable Ducati bike that you can currently get your hands on in the country. And for that cost, you get a thorough package in terms of styling, features, and performance. This is the most affordable variant of the Scrambler 800 that we have out here. There is a higher spec full throttle and nice shift models to choose from as well. The full throttle has a smaller, flatter, flat track style handlebar, a Terminoni exhaust in addition to some other features while the night shift can be had with spoke wheels in addition to some other nice bits on there. Now both the other models retail for 12 lakh X showroom, but this one as a base model package certainly sets a strong starting point for Ducati ownership out here. The Ducati Scrambler 800 stands out in the mid-weight motorcycle category, offering a blend of lively performance and rider-friendly characteristics. Powered by an air-cooled 803 cubic centimeters L-twin engine, the Scrambler 800 delivers 75 horsepower at around 8,250 RPM and 65 Newton meters of torque at 7,000 RPM.